So in the last video, we had the basic implementation of our spell generator setup. So let's go ahead and it's, you know, filling in uh, basic fields that we need. I'd say we're going to go ahead and start working on the eye buff. Now, originally I had this implementing the eye spell, but since I went ahead and made a base spell uh, class, I'm actually going to use that instead now. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove that implementation. I'm going to come back into Unity. We'll create another C Sharp script. And I'm just going to call this buff. We'll go ahead, we'll open this up. And instead of inheriting from mono behavior, we're going to inherit from spell. But we're also going to implement iBuff. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the methods in here. And then I'm going to right click on iBuff and we'll go up to refactor implicit and hit enter. And there we go, it added the skeleton code that we need here. Now let's go ahead and do the exact same thing for the iBolt and also iAOE. So I'm going to create another C Sharp script and I will just call it Bolt. I'll go ahead, open that up and then go ahead and make the AOE spell as well. Whoops, I clicked out of my scripts tab. So I'll come back in, we'll go ahead, we'll create a C Sharp script, call it AOE. And we'll also open that up. Okay, great. We're going to come back into, uh, let's see, let's go to the Bolt interface first, and we'll get rid of the I spell. Uh, save it off, come back to the Bolt class. Uh, instead of inheriting from mono behavior, we just want to interface, or sorry, implement the interface I Bolt. Uh, get rid of all the code that was in there. Go ahead and implement, and hit enter. I'm just going to hit save. We'll come over to AOE and do the same thing. We'll come over to the interface first. And uh, let me see here. I am actually going to get rid of iBolt implementation. And that does remind me, we'll come back over to Bolt and make sure that we're grabbing spell. Also, it won't work right. And we'll come over to the AOE and do the same thing, except now we're going to be using Bolt and the interface of IAOE. And of course, we'll get rid of all the code that came with it. Save it off and then implement the interface. There we go, we have the code for that now. Or rather the skeleton, we'll fill the code in a little bit later. Uh, just make sure all of them are saved. And I'm gonna come over to Spell Generator and we're gonna go through one at a time and create different versions of our spells or at least different types and I'm going to start with the buff. I'm just going to add a few lines of code here. Actually before I go ahead and add lines of code let's go ahead and get rid of this block as we don't need it as it's just a duplicate of the stuff here. I just wanted to change it in that method to uh, just make sure we could access all of the getters and setters here. I can see eventually moving this out to a create spell method in here but for now let's just go ahead we'll just get rid of it out of the spell generator. And we're going to be introduced to a new keyword. Uh, it's called is. And the way this works is we're going to check to see if our spell is. And we're going to test for the type of spell. So we'll start off. Uh, we'll check to see if it's a buff. If it is, we're going to do something. Else if. We'll check to see if our spell is of type uh, we'll say AOE and if it is we're going to be doing something else and the something else is just filling out all these other uh, getters and setters all the little properties we have there and the last thing we have to look for is else if a spell is bolt now this isn't the best way to do it but I really do want to introduce uh, being able to test on type and it is fast just to get this up and running, just to get a few things tested. And we can, you know, like always, come back and just modify stuff. So we're going to go in here. And for now, I'm just going to throw a debug log statement in here. And I'm just going to say what the type is. So for a buff, then I'm going to say we're a buff. For an AoE, I'll say we're an AoE. And likewise. 
Now it's important to note since we're using uh, this way to test, uh, we're going to want to make sure that the AOE is above Bolt simply because AOE inherits from Bolt. So if we had Bolt above AOE, anytime we we're testing for AOE, uh, if Bolt was up, it would recognize it as being a Bolt first. So let's go ahead, we'll save this off. We notice we have a type spell. Uh, let's see what happens when we actually go run this. So I'm going to go ahead and clear it. Uh, we'll hit run, go up to the top. And since it's type spell, nothing happens. This should be up here. Uh, let's go ahead and actually erase all of the debug statements up at the top. And we'll go ahead and change this type to, we'll say buff, just to start off with. And we'll go ahead back into Unity. Uh, start it back up, and we're getting the buff type. And just to test the others, if you want, go ahead. AOE. So I'm going to go ahead and test it. There we go. And let's do bolt. Uh, one too many times there. And there we go, we're seeing that it is a bolt. And just to show what I was talking about with the AOE. And I'll go ahead and put this up here. So now it's testing for bolt before AOE. And if we go run this, uh, we notice it's saying that it's a bolt. But if we go look at the code, it's actually an AOE. So I'll make sure you just have this one first. Uh, great, so the first one we're going to work with is a buff, though. And my wife's waving at me across the room, telling me that it's actually time to go. So I'm going to end this one here, but we are going to be moving into actually casting our spells soon. So we're going to need some particle effects for this. So go ahead and actually start creating your particle effects that you want for your spells. And you're going to want, uh, well, at least one of each. One for a, sort of a buff spell, uh, one for, uh, well, I guess an AoE spell, and one for a bolt or some sort of projectile. And go ahead and actually record them and upload them as a video response to this video. And uh, everyone can actually go ahead and take a look and see what everyone else is uh, creating. Anyway, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.